Hi, I'm Sean. I'm Guy, and I will be educating you all on line integrals. So, have you ever wanted to do an integral but ascend it, like do some two or three dimensional integrals? Well, you obviously can as of right now. Because we're introducing line integrals. Here's a relatable scenario. So it's a normal sunny day and you're walking in the park and suddenly you have a sudden inclination to find a total mass of a wire given its linear density with respect to the position along the wire, which we should affectionately name C. You may relate to this relatable, very relatable scenario, but they may not have known how to solve it. Well, here's the solution to all your problems. We have the familiar's integral symbol, and then there's a little c, which is the curve we're integrating along. Then, the integrand has the linear density with respect to the position along the wire, and we're multiplying that with dr. Like the integrals we've dealt with in class, you can imagine dr as infinitely tiny pieces of vectors along the curve c. This makes line integrals like definite integrals but with more dimensions. To find the total mass of a wire or a stick or whatever, you can approximate it by considering large chunks of dr, kind of like Riemann sums. This flimsy part is 30 centimeters long, uh, that's a dr, and has an average linear density of 0.5 grams per centimeter, while this thick part has 22, is 22 centimeters long, with a linear density of 18 grams per centimeter. So if you do the math, this, then this uh, wire has a mass of approximately 411 grams. So here's our example where you use peak as method to solve. We start with the picture of a sheep moving downwards along this curve, and we want to know how much work the earth does on a sheep we... as it moves. So if the mass of the sheep is 120 kilograms, acceleration due to gravity on the sheep is 9.81 meters per second squared, the sheep is moving along the parametric x of t is 100 times t minus sine t, and y of t is 100 times negative t minus sine t, between times t equals 0 and t equals 10, find work. And we can use the equation w equals the integral of f dot dr to find that. Like everything in life, you can start with the working formula. So you have the inter line integral along curve c, that's the curve that the sheep is moving along. And then you have the force with respect to the position along the curve dot dr. So the force is constant. It's just the gravitational force. So that's fg. Um, it's directly downward, so the x component is 0 and the y component is negative. By the way, the reason why the force of gravity is mg is because you have Newton's second law here. You can rearrange it to be f equals ma, and acceleration due to gravity is acceleration, so f equals mg. And for dr, we can do a clever trick where we multiply it by 1, that's dt over dt, and we can rearrange this to become dr over dt times dt. And this lets us change the line integral into um, a no normal definite integral that we're familiar with. So then, what is r? r is just the parametric function, x of t, y of t. So if we want to differentiate this, we can just do the, we can just differentiate it like this, and that gives us, we can rewrite this as dx over dt, dy over dt. So we can plug this into the original um, integral. And since we changed it to be in terms of time, we had to change the bounds as well. So from t0 to t1, put in the gravitational force dot, and then the hair metric, or that's dr. So dx over dt, comma dy over dt, dt. So you might recall from analysis that a dot product between two vectors is where you just multiply the x's and multiply the y's and you add them up. And conveniently, since the x component here is 0, we don't have to worry about dx dt, and instead we only have to multiply these two. So if we evaluate the dot product, that gives us the integral from t0 to t1 of negative mg dot, oh, it's no longer a dot product, so we don't have to write that, dy dt dt. So what is dy dt? So we're given that y of t is equal to 100 uh, minus t minus sine t. So dy dt is just the um, derivative of that. 100 times negative 1 minus cosine t. And so we can plug this here. 
and substitute negative mg times uh, negative 100 1 plus cosine t dt and these things are constant so we can move this out here so this becomes 100 mg integral from t0 to t1 of 1 plus cosine t dt and the rest of this should be trivial for a calculus student So we can just plug in the given values, and it seems that the Earth has done 1.1 times 10 to the third kilojoules of work on the sheep. The sig figs are correct, and the answer makes sense. I hope this added knowledge on line and scrolls will aid you on your journey through life. Thanks.